When you see these photos of these classic collegiate matchups, generally we're thinking about these land grant institutions as competitors. But what if we thought about these land grant institutions as the A team working together alongside state level soybean boards and the United Soybean Board to deliver value back to US soybean farmers? That is exactly what Science for Success does. We are a group of extension specialists at 25 institutions across the US who collaboratively deliver soybean best management practices to US soybean farmers. And we do this through conducting coordinated research across the nation annually, through leveraging our local knowledge for national extension impact, and by amplifying the reach of checkoff-based information. In this presentation, I will give an example of how our team delivers in each of these areas. When I started as the Extension Specialist at NC State about six years ago, one of the questions I was getting from producers was about the value of foliar fertilizers applied at beginning pod. And instead of asking that question at a couple sites in North Carolina over a couple years, we asked that question across the nation through a coordinated Science for Success research project. And what that resulted in was about 50 sites of data across the US where we captured a lot of environmental and yield variability. And what we found was that at none of those sites did foliar fertilizers applied at beginning pod affect soybean yield? Knowing that could save producers $13 per acre. And if that was applied on 500 acres of soybeans, that's a semester of tuition for your child or grandchild at your local land grant institution. The next example revolves around how we leverage our local knowledge for national extension impact. There's a lot of interest across the US right now in earlier soybean planting for both the associated yield and sustainability benefits. But one of the challenges with early planting is there's some perceived risk about early season injury from frost and freeze. And sometimes that risk has held back our producers from capitalizing on the benefits of earlier planting. So the Science for Success team leveraged our local knowledge by working alongside the risk management agency with the USDA to provide data-driven information in a national way across state lines to get the early replant coverage dates moved for soybeans across the US. And on average, that resulted in a 5.1 day earlier replant coverage date. Knowing what we know about the relationship between soybean yield and early planting, if that five-day earlier planting date was facilitated on just 10% of our soybean acres, that has an economic value of $300 million or 300 X9 combines. And the last example I'll provide is how we amplify the reach of checkoff-based information. One of the things Science for Success does is we deliver high quality content in a variety of ways. One of those being through YouTube videos. If I released a YouTube video in North Carolina, it might get 500 to 1,000 views. But when you're working in a coordinated way with land grant institutions across the US and a network of state level soybean boards, the United Soybean Board, it amplifies the reach of the information you develop. So these three videos here are examples from North Carolina, North Dakota, and Ohio that were developed through Science for Success have a combined 33,000 views. Again, amplifying the reach of checkoff-based information. And we deliver value back to U.S. soybean farmers through coordinated research, leveraging our local knowledge for national extension impact, and amplifying the reach of checkoff-based information.